Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is noun phrase 160. The noun phrase today is burden of proof. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. This noun phrase is often heard and used in stories involving law cases, courtroom scenes, police or detective stories, etc. Anything along that line, you hear this, you hear this a lot. You might even hear it on the news, too. All right, let's continue. Uh, this phrase basically means uh, it is the job or responsibility of the accuser, the person, the one doing the accusing, uh, to show proof or evidence that another person or organization uh, did something wrong that caused harm or injury to another or to other people. Or maybe simply broke the law, because sometimes the state is prosecuting you, too. You know, if the state's prosecuting you, then it's a breaking a law. All right, let's continue. Um, all right, here. The origin comes directly from a Latin uh, quote, Semper necitas probardi incumbit a qui agis. Okay. Meaning the necessity of proof always lies with the accuser. Uh, it made its way into English around 1593. That's what they say. That's when it first started to appear. Okay, and let's continue. Uh, we have uh, two examples to cover this here. Uh, here's example number one. The burden of proof is on the prosecutor's side. That's just the way that you might hear it. Or number two, that lawyer failed to prosecute him because he could not he couldn't supply the burden of proof, or he didn't have enough proof or enough evidence to get a conviction. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. Hope it's clear, hope it's informative. Thank you for your time.